I'm out here this morning to check the third trail camera that I set up about two and a half weeks ago. And uh, this spot where I put it at is a spot that we used last year and got a lot of really good coyote footage and javelinas and deer and a bunch of other stuff. So hopefully it'll do pretty good. Although I'm not too sure this year because there didn't seem to be as much animal sign around the area that there was last year. So this, this one is kind of more of a test to see what's still running around there. Uh, still got a ways to hike in, so I'm just gonna keep my eyes open and see if, see if anything shows up. Got a couple of big tracks here. And it's really hard to tell because they're not well defined. It's pretty loose gravel, but I know for sure that it's a mountain lion because we got a mountain lion on camera and it looks like he was chasing after something. A pretty big one, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the camera also just got a lot of blown shots. So what I'm going to do is check a little bit further down, see if I can keep finding these tracks, and then set up the camera in a place where hopefully the wind won't blow around so much and we can sort of um, funnel the animals through and get better shots. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just want to show how I set up the camera in a different area but near the same spot where we just got the mountain lion. Um, I took a walk back here and it's really hard to tell but you could tell that the mountain lion came through this little area right here uh, just through those trees and he's sort of like skirting the wash. Um, I guess cats kind of like to go in the smaller places so it just sort of seems like the obvious place um, and you can see here those big uh, divots in the sand or the old tracks where it came through so what I did was I set up just down here where the wash and that little path converge and if you look pretty closely, I've got the camera on this sort of churned up root system. Now the problem with this is, if you look, all this brush got smashed up against the tree when uh, the rains come through and this wash gets flooded with water. So this is kind of a risky spot to put the camera. I'm just going to sort of pray that uh, if it rains again it's not going to be so hard that this wash like floods that high because if it does I might be looking at some damage to the camera uh, but I do have it cabled down pretty tight so I don't think that I'll lose it necessarily I just think that if the water smashes it really hard uh, camera might get damaged but for the shot that we got um, I feel like it's going to be worth, it's kind of worth the risk here. This is the first mountain lion that I've seen back here. I've always suspected that they are back here. Uh, it's just the problem is you can't see him. There's no way he could be here right now somewhere. I just kind of watch him in. I wouldn't have any idea, which is a little disconcerting because I am back here completely by myself. I'm probably couple of miles away from the closest person so it'd be cool to see him as long as he doesn't get too close but anyway that's the camera so we're gonna come back in roughly three weeks these cameras trigger so quickly so I'm just not sure if uh, 
you know, I'm hoping this spot does well, but they seem to trigger over every little thing. So I'm just not sure if it's going to do well or not, but there's only one way to find out. So we'll be back in a few weeks.